Hello everyone, today we're going to learn how to apply cloud mask to a satellite image. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to use Landsat A data. Uh, so let's get started. So the reason we're we do doing uh, cloud masking is that when you're dealing with uh, remote sensing or a satellite image analysis, um, you deal with clouds, right? So you, before you do your uh, proper analysis for scientific uh, in a publication or, or what, uh, whatnot, or any real world project, you need to uh, mask clouds. Um, otherwise your uh, interpretation of the image or the analysis um, is not gonna be correct. So cloud masking is really an important uh, st uh, uh, step in, in a remote sensing workflow. So we're gonna use a Landsat example. In this case, we're gonna use, there are advanced cloud masking algorithms uh, and procedures. Uh, in this example, we're going to use the simple um, composite algorithm built in Erzingen function. So, to start with, let's create our variable um, um, a region of interest. Um, create AOI. So, that stores a point location in this case, geometry point. I'll provide a lot long information, which I already prepared. Um, you can change the, this is the latitude and longitude information for this uh, point uh, coordinate system here. And I'll be using this to subset my um, image collection. That's, that's the reason we, we need this. Uh, the other thing is, let's create, a, let's import the Landsat A data. I'll just create a variable to store that. Uh, so our image collection here is, I'm just, um, I'll go to Erzingen and copy that um, image collection uh, here. So I'm going to use um, Landsat 8 uh, collection 2 tier 1. So um, next is just to um, filter this image collection, right? Because um, this is a global data and uh, time series is uh, multiple years. So I'm going to subset it to a single year and also um, uh, overlay to my uh, region of interest here. So let's do that. Uh, so this is a cloudy image. So I just create a variable to cloudy image. That way I'm going to remember what uh, this image collection is. So I'll pass this um, row Landsat 8 image and then filter. I'll apply filters AOI. And then filter dead filter date. Um, so I'm going to use 2020 there one. That's the date, the start date for uh, the image collection. I'm going to also provide the end date, which is the same year, but I'll change the, the months and the date. Okay. So that's going to be, um, now, um, I subsided the data, uh, by timestamp. Currently it's now, um, requesting only uh, 2020 uh, image within the image the entire image collection and also subsidied by um, region of interest here AOI so yeah much smaller footprint okay so the fun part is now let's go ahead and um, create our um, cloud mask um, function so we're gonna use the the earth engine built-in function so let's uh, create a variable cloud three um, and then let's call the earth engine algorithms landsat um, simple composite okay so that's the earth engine built-in function um, we're gonna use and let's open a curly bracket here. What's going on? Okay. So it needs uh, two parameters. The first one is it needs collection. So I'm going to provide this image collection here. And then the next thing is it uh, needs also um, as float true because uh, it's going to change. It's going to internally apply scale factor to this uh, data so yeah so now we have a cloudy image 
and also uh, we've applied this algorithm which is going to change uh, remove the clouds um, by applying simple composite approach uh, or algorithm let's just visualize um, these two data sets so the first one let's create a, a, a visualization parameter first uh, cloud free vis so let's create that and the minimum uh, min is let's define minimum and maximum for our visualization so this one is for the cloud free as i mentioned uh, it converts automatically to a floating point and applies a rescale factor so that's why we're gonna uh, need a floating point um, here and also i'll define the different bands uh, band four band three band two so rgb bands and close the statement the um, the the statement correct and then let's create another visualization parameter for the uh, the cloudy um the cloudy image the raw image and the data is not um rescaled so we're gonna put the original uh data range and so Let's um, display the image, the two image, the cloudy and the uh, cloud free image. But before that, um, let's uh, create our zoom in adjustment. Uh, I, I want the map canvas to zoom into this um, location, which I already provided earlier. And that's the zoom level. Um, so I'm gonna provide this zoom level. And next let's display the cloud free image map dot add layer cloud free cloud uh, let's also um, pass this already created parameter here visualization parameter and let's just give it a name cloud free so this one is a cloud free uh, display let's create the same uh, display but let's change the image to all the cloudy image instead here. We're gonna display the cloud image. Instead here, there's another visualization here, uh, which we already have created here. And instead of cloud free, it's this one is a cloudy image. So we're gonna display both the cloud free and the cloudy image, um, and then um, check if the uh, cloud masking algorithm is working. This is uh, a fairly simple, you know, cloud masking approach, but but it should work. So let's go ahead and execute our code and see what the, you know, the two uh, images are. So let's zoom in a little bit. So this is our image. Uh, so, so the raw image with cloud contamination, this is over, you know, Ghana uh, near Accra can see here some okay so we're gonna load our um, cloudy image first right so pretty cloud contamination here you can see um, you can see the clouds here um, so but we uh, when we apply the cloud masking algorithm that has been cleared so pretty cool look at that so that's a huge difference look at the cloudy pixel and look at the uh, post cloudy um, cl after applying the cloud mask algorithm so that's how uh, you apply simple uh, cloud masking algorithm on the earth engine uh, cloud computing API